let's cook with it everyone. Today we're going to make chicken and rice in one pan. It's tasty, easy to make, and a good meal to make on the budget. Let's begin with the chicken thigh. Chicken thigh, bone in and skin on. And of course I trim some of the skin and the fat. A drizzle of olive oil. And here I have the dry rub, which is black pepper, chili powder, smoked paprika, salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. Half of the dry rub in. Quick mix. The rest of the dry rub in. Mix well till all the chicken coated with the seasoning. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Now let it marinate for 10 or 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're waiting for the chicken to be marinated. We're gonna chop some vegetable. So I'm starting here with mushroom. Red pepper, small dice. Green onion. White onion dice. Garlic, smash and chop. Now for the carrot, we're not going to dice, we're going to shred. So shredded carrot. Now stove on a medium low heat, saucepan, little bit olive oil, and make sure the pan is wide enough to fit all the chicken. So skin side down. And we're gonna cook it for four to five minutes before we flip them. Actually, I left them for six minutes. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for, crispy skin. And we're gonna flip them all. And we're gonna cover it for another seven to eight minutes or until the chicken, they are fully cooked. Now, as soon as it passed 165, 170, with the different tongs, we're going to transfer everything on the plate. And yes, I always overcook the dark meat because it tastes better and stays juicy. With this goodness in the bottom of the pan, we're not gonna throw it out. We're going to add some butter. Oh, this is gonna give the rice amazing flavor. As soon as the butter all melted, we're going to add all the vegetable we chopped. Now turn the stove on a medium high heat and let's saute all the vegetables. Perfect, all the vegetables are cooked. Now I'm gonna add some turmeric. Tomato paste, tomato paste and turmeric gonna give amazing color to the rice. Mix well. Salt. 
salt and pepper to your taste chicken broth rice was washed and rinsed mix well again Now we're going to put the chicken back in. And when you put the chicken back in, make sure the skin side up. All the remaining juice. Cover it up and let's bring it to boil first. As soon as it starts boiling, bring your heat to medium low. Cover and let it cook till the rice fully cooked and all the water evaporated. Took about 30 minutes on the low heat, but the result is unbelievable. Now, it might take five minutes less or five minutes more. Just make sure the rice, they're fully cooked. Super yummy. Now turn off the stove, cover and let it rest for 25 to 30 minutes before you serve. And when you're ready to serve, look at this goodness. Finish it up with some green onion. This chicken and rice meal, it deserves like, subscribe, share, and you go ahead, make it, enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. Take care.